Hello, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome to the channel of the Loquacious One. I hope everyone is doing fine. It is February of 2018. I'm in the Midwest and we are the, in the midst of a snowstorm. I mean, we're getting 12 inches. Oh my God. It is just, whoo, it is a trip outside. You know, I don't know if I should show you that snow, but I might briefly look at that. It is coming down and it isn't slowing down. Alrighty, so with that being said, back to the video at hand. Sorry about that. I am doing a series on um, dental care. I did the first part, which covered the apparatuses that I use, uh, with the exception of two brushes because it was too much for one video. So I will be continuing with the two brushes I use in this one, as well as the chemicals and my teeth whitening at home procedure. So thank you for tuning in. This is a loquacious one. I hope you would do me the honor for 2018 of joining my little YouTube family, uh, tapping the notification bell, as well as thumbs up. And if you're on social media, please share it. And to all my ride or die subscribers, thank you so much for your kind words, comments, and support. I really love them. You mean the world to me. And this is for you. Alrighty. We're going to start with the first thing. I'm going to cover toothbrushes. Okay, this is in no particular order. It's just how I do what I do. The first ones I'm going to show you, these are by Family Dollar. They are a four pack and it says tongue cleaner. I really like these brushes in and of itself, even though it's a, they're very well made. And these were, this pack might have been, it wasn't over $2. I can't really remember because I seen them and I grabbed them. I like the colors. But, you know, I bought this with my guests in mind. So that if my I accompany, they would have a toothbrush. And I bought uh, toothbrush uh, covers from Dollar Tree, which I showed you in the first videos. But I bought um, three packs of these because I just really liked them. The colors were nice. The handle felt good. I used these before. And they're really good. This is the tongue cleaner. Look at that. You actually have a tongue cleaner in here. The brush. Okay. The tongue, the tongue, you see, tongue cleaners on the back, brush. So you can clean your tongue. How great is that? So if you really don't want to invest in a tongue scraper or that oral brush that I uh, showed you, this is it. This is the bomb.com for Family Dollar. Okay, I'm just going to briefly show you other two brushes that I've gotten. And I like these are from the Dollar Tree. They cost a dollar. And this is Aim. Yeah, I got brushes from Aim, uh, Close Up, Colgate, it's a dual pack, this is Oral-B, I got these from Big Lots, I know that much, and these are Oral-B. I have tons of toothbrushes, this by any means is not all of them, but I end up giving some of them away because I just didn't like the color, didn't like the brush or something, changed my mind, found something better. So you can get two brushes all day long. Uh, I I am particular about the bristle and what it does. So that determines what type of two brush I get. Sometimes I just like the design of the brush. So do you uh, check the bristles? Do you want a soft or hard? Most dentists are just soft because you don't want to tear up your gum line, you know. I don't know where hard would apply, but some people just prefer it, so you do you. Now, that isn't my favorite by far. And this is just something I might use if I take on vacation or what have you, or if I'm just too lazy to really get this. This is Philips Sonicare, and I purchased this from Walmart. This removes up to six times more plaque. I have another one. Uh, God, it wasn't a Sonicare. It might have been one of those bronze. So I do have another electric toothbrush. And I do prefer this Sonicare because the bristles is moving uh, at 31,000 brush strokes per minute. Can't beat that. And I definitely can't brush that hard with my hand. And a toothbrush. So that's my favorite one. Uh, in my bathroom, I got a water pick. I didn't feel like hauling it out. 
uh, most people probably don't even use it, but if you, you know what a water pick looks like. And to be honest with you, I very rarely use it. But I do have a water pick. So if you're really into and really care for your gums, get that water pick by all means. I just don't want to go through that routine. It's too much for me. Uh, another thing I'm going to put up here to show you is this Butcher Boy 100% refined coconut oil non-gmo non-hydrogen <clears throat> excuse me non-hydrogenated i got this from big lots for four dollars and it's like ooh, 30 ounces dollar tree has a smaller container for a dollar so if you just need it to clean your makeup off or you just want to try it people use that for what they call uh oil pulling I'm not going to go into detail about oil pulling, but you simply swish a pure oil in your mouth. Coconut, some people use, uh, I just know coconut, but people use different types of uh, oils. And you can research it on the internet or YouTube if you want to about oil pulling and the benefits. I do like brushing and will probably always brush, but you can investigate it if that's something you think you might be interested in. And I'm going to show you my favorite toothpaste. I tried, I showed you in a haul, I purchased a Colgate and an Ultra Bright baking soda peroxide toothpaste last week to see if it could possibly take the uh, place of Arm & Hammer Advanced White Stain Defense Extreme Whitening Baking Soda and Peroxide Toothpaste. Could it? No. This one is freshman flavor. It is three dollars some change, or either four dollars. I don't know, but it's expensive. I don't try to justify the price because the product is good, and I have only had this for a month. Look at the tube, folks. Kid you not. I enjoy using it, and this is with being kind of frugal with it with me. And I'm going to tell you this much: when I brush my teeth with this at night, I get up in the morning. I do not have. Uh, morning mouth you can absolutely feel the difference of the grains in the toothpaste as opposed to the other two which i think have little of the baking soda and peroxide actually in it so this is worth the money coupon if you have to stack a coupon on top of this but you get this at all where all i didn't it's not at the dollar tree but wherever else they sell toothpaste you'll find it i got this one at uh, big lot it is not a toothpaste it's crest 3d white polishing treatment brilliance boost amplifies whiteness it's a polishing treatment if you ever go to the dentist and the hygienist uh, if she's the one who clean your teeth when they get through cleaning them they polish them with that little rubber whatever that is uh that's what this is meant to be i don't think crest makes that anymore because i found that in big lot for about three dollars so they probably discontinued it because I can't find it. So I just got a few tubes of that. When it's gone, it's just gone. You could probably substitute baking soda and get the same effect. Okay. So that is that on that. Uh, what else do I have to show you now? Okay. I'm going to go over into the tooth whitening. First thing I do, either when I brush my teeth or I'm doing my teeth whitening process, is I do a pre-dental rinse. That's before I brush. And I use, generally use plaques. So this pre-brush by Assured Mint Flavor Dental Rinse from Dollar Tree. I tried it before, but I didn't finish it. So I don't know if it worked or not or if I liked it or not because it was so long ago. And I had so much of the plaques, I used the plaques and the plaques ran out. So I'm going to try this to see if that works. If it do, it'll save me some money or something I really just don't want to buy anyway since I'm going to brush my teeth. It just doesn't make sense to me, but I do use this before I uh, do my teeth whitening process because I want to optimize the effect. So you can get that instead of plaques. Now I'm going to say for the quick two things I realized that I left off of this uh, table. My box of baking soda. I like Arm & Hammer. Doesn't matter what brand. No. Baking soda basically to me is baking soda. So if you're brand conscious, get the Arm & Hammer 
if not baking soda, the generic or store brand or Dollar Tree brand works just as well. And also I left off my hydrogen peroxide, which I use. It is very effective. I use it for everything to clean my ears. I use it as a facial toner. I use it as a mouth rinse. I even use it in the bath. I use it for scrapes and cuts. That is a good product. Get your hydrogen peroxide. You can get a really big bottle for little money. Great all-purpose product. Alrighty, on an everyday basis, what mouthwash do I use? This Assured Original Mouth Rinse and Aseptic, 16.9 ounces. It says here, it compares to Listerine. And I'm going to say, I think it does. Without being a professional, I like it. It takes care of when I get bacteria in my mouth. If I have a, a toothache or gum ache or something because something going on, that helped. I, it really did. I'm not going to tell you to do this because... I'm going to do a disclaimer. I'm not a dentist. I'm not a medical practitioner. I'm not an orthodontist. A, uh, 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 ped, uh, what is it? Pedon <laughs> what is that? A podontist or a dental hygienist. I am just Andrea, the loquacious one, telling you this works for me. Okay. And I buy this on the regular. That's all I use, basically. And I sometimes, when I want to switch it up because my bathroom is blue, I got this Reach Essential Anti-Cavity 6-in-1 Benefit Arctic Mint. Okay, from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Uh, Writing, because it's 13.5 uh, ounces, it is the dupe of this Listerine Total Care Fresh Mint Anti-Cavity Mouthwash. Okay which is 1.05 pint. Okay, I don't know the difference between that. I got this at Big Lot. You can get this anywhere with dental care products. I just picked up in that. That is supposed to be like this, the Reach 6-in-1, supposed to be like the Listerine Total Care. Is it? I don't know. I will have to test it out and let you know. But for the record, because I always try to dupe stuff for the cheap, I did this Equate Alcohol-Free Anti-Cavity Mouthwash Fresh Mint that compares to Listerine Total Care Zero Anti Cavity Mouthwash. I didn't. I don't know if it worked. I just didn't like this. I didn't finish it. I'm throwing that bottle away just to show you. So I'm always comparing just to see. I think even if it works the same and I don't enjoy it, it's not worth it to me. Okay, moving on to mouthwashes so we can get on up out of here. Uh, when I do my tooth whitening process, I want to optimize and keep it as long as I can. I purchased this from Dollar the Reach Essential Whitening Hydrogen Peroxide Rinse 6 in 1 Benefit Sparkling Mint. I'm thinking this is in itself too similar to the Listerine 6 in 1, but with the whitening benefit because it has peroxide. But yes, I got that for that. And if I don't see that, or you don't see that at Dollar Tree, this Lavoris Whitening Mouth Rinse in Fresh Mint 18 ounces, which is more. And probably a better buy for that does the trick. Now, when I uh, do my whitening process, um, sometimes a whitening process will cause teeth or tooth sensitivity. They have several at the Dollar Tree or generic at other stores, and they have the name brands to spend a lot. Uh, at Dollar Tree, I generally just use the Colgate Sensitive Tea Formula. I have it somewhere around here. I don't know where I put it, but I bought that from the Dollar Tree. Uh, Dollar Tree had their own brands, but I tried the Colgate because it was a name brand. So you can get Sensitive Tea Formulas from Dollar Tree. If that doesn't work, then you might have to go try something more expensive like the Sensodyne, which I haven't seen that at the Dollar Tree. But just so you will know. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, this heat is drying me out. Uh, this Wilson Single Density Mouth Guard I got from Walmart. Make sure you get the adult size. I seen a film by Candy, K-A-N-D-E-E -E, Johnson. She is a YouTuber. That's a makeup artist. And she has a channel. Check her out. She did a custom bleaching tray using these. Hold on. <clears throat> Had 
had to get a drink. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. But um, I purchased these at Walmart. And I make my own customized bleaching trays. Because I don't have that money to spend. Teeth whitening can be very expensive. And I refuse to pay for that. My teeth are not that bad. But I do want white teeth. And I'm not going to spend that kind of money. Not yet. So I got a couple of those. And when I'm doing my whitening procedure, I got this. It's a Brush Buddy Baby Care Finger Toothbrush. You can get it like at the Dollar Tree and probably at any other place that have baby, you know, baby um, personal care items. I like this at, to get in the back where I can't get because I can put it on my finger and maneuver it better. And I also use these little dental picks, you know, anything similar to this. They got a little brush on the end and I use that to get between my teeth in case it's some dark shaded areas that's good for putting it in between there because you want your teeth color even now um, there are several ways you can bleach your teeth this is the way candy suggested it was the plus white five minute speed whitening system and it came with these two items Oh, you know what? Wrong. This did not come with that. This is something else. I am so sorry. Okay, it came with the, these two items, and this is the rinse. Okay, so the rinse is in the kit. So it came with the gel that's in the tube, the rinse, and he gave you a sample of the toothpaste. This is what Candy used when she did her customized tray, and she did hers in the shower. So this is what I think works efficiently. This product costs more than a dollar. I guess they, I don't know why Dollar Tree had them. I think because they changed the packaging and supposedly improved it product or whatever. But they were in Dollar Tree and I bought several and I gave them to other people to use because it was a dollar. It was a great deal. So I, I this is what I'm using. And previous to that, uh, I simply used the whitening strips this is one it was dr brody's one smile 30 minute uh teeth whitening strips and they had another it's three treatments in each one of these they had another one i don't remember what it is and i don't have it so i guess it really doesn't matter but yeah uh i don't use these anymore uh, i also would do that and i would use this is where this came from this is the five minute whitening system. Okay, and this is a brand product. You can find it on the internet. And it came with this tooth whitening gel that you use in the tray. And this was what the tray looked like. I mean, really, this will not fit in your mouth. So that's why, hence, you buy these mouth guards, which are about. <sighs> I want to say less than a dollar or a dollar at Walmart and you make your own and you dump, you dip them in boiling water for a few minutes and then you put them in your mouth and suck to the adhere to the teeth and print, then you print, then you drop it in cold water. But check Candy's video out. So yeah, I used to use the five minute whitening system and these Dr. Brody's. Now they have the Reach Essential Whitening Strips. And it starts working as quickly as one day. It four strips, two treatments. So this is what I've gotten to replace this. I'm going to try this out to see if it worked. Because when this run out, what am I going to do? Okay. And. Oh. Last but not least. These Dazzling Whites. They look like this. In the pack. Outside of the pack, because I keep several of these. This Dazzling White, uh, it's a, uh, what does it say? Professional Strength Whitening Pen. And you simply take the top off. You click it, you know, click it till the gel moves up. And you simply use it to uh, clean. Well, I don't know if it cleans, but you use it if, say, for instance, you you drink wine or coffee or tea and you can work it in as a quick treatment to maintain when you have already whitened your teeth. There's a more professional, let me see, a more brand name product that this 
is kind of mimicking. I can't think of the name of it, but they are upwards of there. They're very expensive, and this is a dollar. So I do like this. It do serves the purpose. It do he help. It do help keep the teeth white between whitening treatments. So these dazzling white pens you will find always. You will now be finding these Reach Essential Whitening Strips, but they had the Dr. Brody's and another one that was a Dollar Tree brand, I believe, that's in there. And I always see these five-minute whitening kits. Um, the five-minute, eh, you know, some people like it. I would say try it, you know. Uh, the Dr. Brody's, I don't even know if they still have it. If you see it, hey, it is what it is. The Reach, I'll be more so inclined to try and carry one of these pens. And also, you can use baking soda mixed with a little peroxide and brush your teeth gently and rinse. And probably use a whitening rinse. You know what I'm saying? I crush strawberries and mix it with baking soda. And I do that like once a month to wipe my teeth I also use the inside of a banana peel and I just simply uh, scrub the surface of my teeth and that helps and um, yeah that is it that's all that I have that I use to maintain my teeth I think I got through it all and with that being said here's a bright smile and a fresh breath to you. And the next video, the next video will be on halitosis. If you want to maintain fresh breath, it's going to be shorter than the these two previous, but it will help. Okay, till next time, this is the question one. Leave all questions, cares, comments, and concerns. If you have a film you want me to view, if you have suggestions or products that work extremely well, please leave them in the box below. Right click, subscribe to my channel, tap notification bell, and don't forget to share on social media. And if you enjoyed it and learned something, thumbs up. All right, folks, that's it. That's all. This is the question one. Bye bye.